of all the complex decisions education leaders face as they plan to reopen schools for the 2020-2021 academic year, one of the toughest might be the most basic, how to get students to the buildings in the first place. The number of students who ride the bus is certain to be smaller than years past because of the options to attend virtual school and distance learning. The district still has to think through the logistics of keeping students, bus operators, and bus attendants both safe and healthy to and from school. Before heading to the bus stop each morning, parents should check their child's temperature to ensure it is under 100.4 degrees and that he or she is not having any COVID symptoms. If your child's temperature is at or above 100.4 degrees, or if they have any COVID symptom, please do not send him or her to school. While waiting at the bus stop, students must wear their masks and maintain a social distance from each other. Students must wear their masks for the entire bus ride, if medically possible. When it is time to board the bus, students will use hand sanitizer as they enter the bus and then move to the available seats at the rear of the bus. The bus is loaded from the rear to the front. Up to two students will be allowed in each seat on the bus, and masks will be required for the entire trip. If two students wish to sit with each other, they must board the bus at the same time. Please, no saving seats. Students should space apart as the seat allows. If the bus is equipped with lap belts, please wear them. When the bus arrives to campus, students will unload from the front to the rear. Think first on, last off. Buses will be cleaned and disinfected between our morning and afternoon runs and also every night to prepare for the next day. So as you can see, riding a school bus may look different with our new health and safety procedures in place this fall, but our focus remains unchanged. Every child, every chance, every day.